back into this thing? Yeah, sure. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Jameson on the Rocks podcast. Today I have with me Miss Gracie Huffman from Lighthearted. Thank Round of applause for the young lady. You. <laughs> How are you doing? You. Thank you. I'm doing well. I'm so yeah. glad to have you. This is yeah. an absolute pleasure of mine. Thanks for having me. It's yes, awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, mm-hmm. Get me started. Uh, how, how has things been? Last time I seen you was pre-pandemic, so just I give know. me a little recap. How's life been treating um, you? Yeah, so life has been treating me well. The pandemic <laughs> hit. Um, and you know, life happens, so it just does. taking it as it comes. Yeah. But as far as band stuff, like we released our first single before the pandemic hit. Very close February to there, right? Yeah, yeah, so right on the cusp of it. And then our second single, Honey Honey, came out mm-hmm. right after the pandemic hit. Just, just in the cut down yeah, in your prime. Like, <laughs> just cut down like, in your this prime. This is definitely different. And um, yeah, I think music is the thing that took the biggest hit. Because of the pandemic, I think think that goes uh, for most people. But Mm -hmm. we had two shows scheduled. Mm -hmm. Where Um, we were, yeah, we were playing with Cloudland at the Forty Watt at the end of April, and then at the beginning of April we were playing. Um, the Georgia Theater opening what? for Brendan Abernathy and Jordan Searcy. Yeah, so it was no. like a huge dagger. Not the two meccas but it's in okay. Athens. It's okay. We played the Caledonia, though. Yeah. So that was, it was really sweet to play that. Um, you got it, got it in there. Especially, I know. Rest, rest in, in peace, peace, Donia, man. Go. Like, man, that would just be <laughs> so awful if we didn't get to play it. Yes. Um, well, that's what happened to me. Oh. Mine was scheduled for March, like, 26, I was playing mm-hmm. Adonia for the first time, and wow. it freaking closed down like the 19th, so yeah. a year ago. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I, I yeah. didn't get my chance, it's you know just, what I mean? Uh, it's such an iconic piece of Athens history. No that doubt. It absolutely is. It absolutely Oof. is. All right, so let's let's get the origin story. That uh-huh. was a nice little recap there. I yeah, love that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So get me started. How do you meet the other two? You guys are a trio, am yeah, I right? Yeah, we are. Okay, uh-huh. tell me about the other members. How'd you guys meet? So, um, Eliza, or whatnot. yeah, I know. Yes. Eliza and I have known each other for our whole lives because we're <laughs> yeah. twins. Yeah. So, I know we met. how you guys met. <laughs> yeah, Love it. yeah. So, okay. we're, um, yeah. And then we met when the three of us were young life leaders at the time. Um, when and I still what? Sorry? young life leaders, gotcha. it's a okay. ministry in Athens cool. where we like cool. go to high schools and middle schools. Awesome. That's great. Um, yeah, so we met through a retreat. Mm-hmm. So, like, when is this? Like, you guys this, are kids or you're this recently? This is recent in okay, college. Okay. Gotcha. So it was in our sophomore year. So it was okay. fall of our sophomore year. So not really not that long ago. No. Not long at all. And yeah, you guys, I think that's right. It was in 2019. Then, uh, was your sister, you and your sister, were you guys making music already? Or what was the process so of that? So we had been playing music for a while together. We... Um, my grandmother supposedly thinks that we were harmonizing together in the back seat at three years old. I don't buy it. I don't remember it. Come but on, that's her story. <laughs> like, okay, Mimi. Um, I'll take you your word saying? for it, but who knows? Um, so, yeah, we've been like singing together for a while, mm-hmm. but I didn't start writing songs until like halfway through my freshman year. Okay, so, spring college. of 2019. Yeah, okay. in college. In wow, college. that's not long ago. Yeah, so not even in high school. Like, wow. there are tons of people who have a jump start, but, you know, I yeah. started kind of late in the game which is it's cool that is cool. to have a really fresh perspective um that's awesome yeah because uh i had aspen last week as mm-hmm. i told you she was like yeah i started yeah. writing in middle school i listened i was like, I was like oh she was <laughs> on girl. top of it <laughs> all the things like, you're saying i agreed with she's she like, like crowdfunded my first ep in high school yeah. i was like damn you were ripping like, it you i know, were you ahead I know. Of the game. Like, she was doing a kickstarter before any love of us it, knew what it, it was go off um, queen i know facts so um yeah um so we we hadn't really played music together we I guess play mm-hmm. at coffee shops, but yeah. mm-hmm. we were, like, I've always had friends who are musicians. Mm-hmm. Like, Elijah and I were mm-hmm. friends yeah. in, like, middle school and high school really? playing in youth group that. together. Yeah. Wow, okay. We go way back. So it was, like, Elijah is my musician friend. And, like, uh-huh. my friend Kimmy, um, who I met at summer camp a long time ago, she lives in Nashville, goes to Palmont. Uh-huh. Like, she was my musician friend. Yeah. She would, like, play songs that she'd written. So that was never me. I was so kind you're of always, aware of it. You just I was hadn't. always supportive instead yeah. of pursuing something myself. Gotcha. Um, Very cool. So yeah, it was cool. Um, I started writing songs like spring of my freshman year, so uh-huh. spring of 2019. And is this just something like you just moved to college, you don't know what's going on kind of thing? I or just guess, like, I guess, yeah? I guess. I mean, I, so going way back, um, Eliza and I's parents made us play an instrument in a sport okay. ever since like five years old. That's kind of so, cool. So um, I've played piano since then. Yeah. It's like 
five so years great. old yeah uh-huh. Holy they cow. just put us in lessons <laughs> so i've been playing piano for a long wow, time wow that's impressive yeah that's so really young well, very, you got a pretty good lucky. jump on us yeah. come on it's pretty I, good jump. but writing songs is pretty fresh yeah. but um i will say i've been playing piano for a long time that's awesome um so i was what classically sport did you trained pick? <laughs> tennis yeah Love it. okay tennis. tennis is fun i, I like played tennis. last week but that was the yeah. first time in a minute i'm but, not good but i like it it's mm-hmm. a good little good workout it's kind of telling i was put in both kinds of lessons and i sticked with music and don't really play tennis anymore <laughs> kind of dropped off. <laughs> the tennis thing didn't pan out. Yeah, yeah. No, unfortunately. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And your sister, is she playing the instrument? What's her instrument of choice right. at this point? So she played piano as well okay, for a cool. long time. And then sophomore year of high school, she picked up acoustic guitar. Very nice. Very My nice. dad had a book of, like, the chords that are mapped out, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh, like in different yeah. blocks. C-G. And so, <laughs> yeah, she's, like, learning the shapes herself. Um yeah. And so whenever we'd play, it would be like me on piano, her on guitar, cool. us That's doing cool. vocals. I bet um, that was fun, little brother, or sister, sister bonding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also have a little brother, but yeah. he's not musically talented, unfortunately. <laughs> he's stuck with the tennis. He can sing pretty well. Yeah. He wrestles, and he played football, nice. and he plays okay. tennis. So he's love very it. multifaceted he's in the sports world. Yeah, yeah. love it, love it. He's, yeah. he's picking up the slack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, mom and dad can be rooting for him when he does yes. the sports things. Well, that's um, awesome. I'm sure you guys, yeah. maybe that's, well. I'm sure just years of singing together, you mm-hmm. guys surely know some yeah, tendencies and, and stuff, even, right? Even because we're identical twins, we're mm-hmm. genetically the same. Our personalities are very different, but yeah. the way that we think is Similar. almost exactly the same. So when we sing, it's like we already know where the other person's going to go, so we can like slide together. Yeah, and, um, that's awesome. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, even with songwriting, when I started to write, mm-hmm. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just kind of <laughs> guessing. I was like, I guess this sounds cool. Sounds cool. Um, so Eliza would write a guitar part, and I would like mess with it and mm-hmm. see what I could do. Or um, I would write a song on piano and then play mm-hmm. it for her. And it was really helpful, and it still is helpful. Yeah to have her because she knows how my brain works yeah. more than anyone else does Easily. and so if a concept isn't coming through in a song she can pinpoint it and be like i think you're trying to say this so try to go about it in a different way that's pretty rare so you it's know what really I'm really useful nice, and it's nice that you i don't i i sure you don't get nervous presenting things in front of her you know what i mean like it's not like a i stranger. mean i do you uh it's Sometimes? really really hard Sometimes, <laughs> yeah but i mean even when we first started playing songs for when I uh-huh. would get really nervous because even though we're really really close yeah oh man it's I still just there. still there's such that's a good. vulnerability yeah keeps so you alive. Keeps it you keeps feeling. me yeah, yeah that's keeps good me feeling stuff. too comfortable would uh-huh. be too easy right that's it, true. It, it is a thing when you're a songwriter and you write something you're like man this is stupid like yeah. or sometimes you know yeah. it might just be me but I'm like man this like, is kind of dumb, dumb it's like yeah. it's like you don't look forward to presenting it to your um mm. Your people, but you're like, man, because you I work have it up to. in your own head. You're like, yeah, okay, I've worked really hard on this, but yeah, and then we're gonna do this, and then mm-hmm. we're gonna do this, and it'll be like this, mm-hmm. and it'll be like this, and they're like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like what's going <laughs> like, what on over mean? there? Yeah, but you exactly. know what you're trying to say, yeah. you know what I mean? And you have to say it, you know what I mean? If mm-hmm. you don't, it'll bother you. Mm-hmm. At least for me, I'm sorry. Yeah, but no, yeah, that's I cool that, that you have somebody to present to. That's very yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. And um, so you guys. This is how you guys got tight singing, just been doing it for years. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome, because I think you guys' harmonies is like your strong suit like, mm, for the whole you. group, honestly. Thank you. The secret weapon in there. Uh-huh. And, and is, is one of you guys the lead singer, or are you guys yeah, kind of so share? Yes, so I am. Okay, cool. So, cool. yeah, I our voices sound really similar, mm-hmm. but I did notice so it kind of gets that. lost sometimes, but... Um, I write the songs and uh-huh. I, I always sing melody. Okay. Maybe one of these days, Eliza will take the melody, but when, <laughs> when there's a harmony in there, it's Eliza. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. That's good to know. I kind of wondered, I kind of figured you guys were sharing it. I just didn't know. Mm. Cause you guys do sound extremely similar mm-hmm. a lot of times, mm-hmm. which is cool. If you ever can't sing anything, you're like, yo, I'm a W. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, can yo, I just you, you punch you in right here? You got it. Like, you yeah. got this. Go off. Sure. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this takes you guys all the way to college, and yes. I assume she is in college here as well? Or yes, around? she okay, is. She cool. goes to UGA as well. And then you guys meet the guitar man. Yes, we meet Wynn. Goat. And then um, I we had our first show actually with Hotel uh-huh. Fiction at A Thousand Faces. Really? Which is... Um, it's downtown, right? Yes, it is. Okay, it cool. It is. It's on Thomas Street. Yeah, Thanks so... so. Um, it was a really small, packed-in show. Mm-hmm. It was in October of... 2019 yeah that's right and so like two weeks before Mm -hmm. i am a really slow songwriter yeah and i had written both this old car and midday sun Uh like they just came together all at once and i was like guess we have a show coming up maybe i felt some pressure (laughs) but that was our first show and i think that weekend we had 
three shows lined up in four days. So that wow. first show, people just asked us to play, and we were like, yeah. So like we played Porch Fest, we played uh-huh. a house show. Porch Fest is cool. But um, that night was our first time playing any of our show, our songs live uh-huh. at a show. And um, that first show was just Eliza and I. Mm-hmm. And then the next three we threw went into the mix. So you guys, you guys already knew him? You didn't we did him know there. him. Okay, no, cool. we didn't meet him there. We cool. met him back in September at like a Young Life leader retreat uh-huh. where all the leaders went. And so we met him for the first time. And what was the motivation on bringing him in? Just wanting some more flavor so, or something? Yeah, um, that's a different story. But um, <laughs> spring of our freshman year, that's when we wrote Honey, Honey. And it was Love with it. our friend called Jack Tootin. He's awesome. He does Fi Slam. Um, oh, his name sounds so familiar. Right, I feel like I follow right. him or something maybe. Right. Maybe uh, he might be loosely involved in the music scene, but gotcha. he was the third member. We like wrote the song. We're like, oh, what do we do with it? Mm-hmm. And so we had our friend Elena Booth film uh-huh. a little like homemade video. The audio was literally my f- iPhone 6 <laughs> voice memo going, plopped it in the middle Love of the room. <laughs> I was on keys. Eliza was on electric. Jack was on guitar. Um, uh-huh. I'm sure it's on YouTube under the Love name it. Peach. That was we our will, first name. We will drop it in the bio Oh for this. my <laughs> gosh. I don't know about Get you some views. Come on. Come on. But it's an old video. Um, because we'd written Honey Honey and yeah. we just were like, it's labeled as like an entrance into the Tiny Desk contest. So okay. we're like, let's just yeah. enter into the Tiny Desk contest. Yeah. Why not? Didn't win by any <laughs> means. But is. we like filmed <laughs> the video. Shot. Love right. That. And so yes. that was our, our band. And then Jack became busier with Fi Slam. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then we met Wynn right as Jack was like, hey, I can't do this. And we're gotcha. like, shoot, we have shows that are planned. Yeah, you guys are getting busy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we met Wynn and he was like, we started talking about music. And he, I think his quote was like, in order for me to be a part of a band, someone would have to move away or die. Like, that's a <laughs> gruesome way of putting it. But it's like, no one, he didn't have any way to play guitar. Yeah. And so then we were like, well, guess what? If you want to play guitar, we have a band. <laughs> Somebody and, just like, moved someone away. Just, yes, someone <laughs> just moved out of our bands. We're like, you don't, no one has to die. Like, you're fine. <laughs> Everybody can live, man. Like, this you is can good see thing. if you like our songs and then we'll move them yeah. from there. Um, He's so. funny. He's kind of profound when he speaks. Like, he doesn't yeah, say much when sure. I've been around him. But when he says something, it's like, that was important. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like for that. sure. Like that's that. definitely. So that's cool. Okay. So the, then he comes into the band. This is still right. 2018 era? This is 2019. Okay. And you yeah. guys instantly change your name or you ride no. with it? So okay. we ride with Peach. Cool. cool. That's um, still a cool name. Yeah. It's yeah. a fine name. It was mainly just because we didn't know what else it, yeah, it was fine. Yeah, picking a name then, is hard. It's really hard. Yeah. And yeah. so um, we'll talk about that. But... Mm-hmm. Um, so we played our first show in October, and then we played two more shows that weekend. Yeah. And when was thrown into the mix? Right there. Yeah, Just I was go like, ahead and go crazy. Yeah. I don't know how it happened, but we were like, how did we get ourselves in this situation? But um, yeah, so the second show, when was thrown into the mix, and that's mm-hmm. when I wrote. When we were rehearsing for that second show is when I wrote the bridge for this old car. We were just okay. rehearsing, cool. and we were like, and then the I bridge? just started singing, and wow. it like. We had already written the song, but then the bridge just kind of came out of me. And I guess okay. I was like, we'll just play this tonight and see how it goes. And then we can, like, <laughs> figure out if we want to play it at the rest of our shows yeah. like this. But that was kind of cool. He was thrown into the mix right and it immediately, yeah. like, inspired me. Um, so, yeah. And actually, at our A Thousand Faces show, Andrew Huang was there. Goat. Love doing that guy. sound because yes. he worked at A Thousand Faces at the really? time. Really? Wow. And I think that's when we met. I think mm. Wynn had already met him, but... My goodness. Such he, a nice guy. For real. Yeah. He is the most gracious person I know. So like talented. We were with him like a week ago um, really? trying to work on some new stuff. Nice. So it's like so sweet. It um, sounds like it's like easy to say this, I guess, but I was thinking about it. And he's literally like the perfect producer for you guys, like his whole sound uh-huh. thing. You know what I mean? It's like, great. He's got his own sound. You, mm-hmm. know, you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Like I you can know. hear it when it's a, a Huang record. Mm-hmm. Got a, I kind of struggle to pronounce his last name. Yeah. Uh, it's such a nice guy, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's literally, like, the perfect for you guys. Like, mm-hmm. you guys have the same similar... Mm-hmm. Like, I see how he kind of pushes you guys. He's produced yeah, everything he you guys have done, right? Us. Yes. Pretty much, he for has, the most part. He yeah. has everything. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So, still Peach. Right. Shows, right. So, man. we played that show. We met mm-hmm. Andrew. And right after that show, he was like, I want to produce you guys. Yeah. And he was very, like, upfront and honest, but... I didn't even know what recording really was like. I was uh-huh. in that recording class. Yeah, trying to learn. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. And so I was like, I guess I just wrote these songs, but I guess if you want to record them. So then um, 
we kept playing shows, doing our thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we met up with Andrew a couple times, and we would just hang out at his house. Like, we had yeah. these movie nights every Monday. He has a cool house. He did. He did. He, did. he, he, did. Did. he yes. really did. Very and that's cool where house. he recorded as well. So it was awesome. such a vibe. Um, so <laughs> sweet. Um, had a nice piano in there. Yeah, nice. for I've real, been in there. It's very cool. Real. Yeah. Very cool. So um, we ended up – we changed our name because – um, as we were producing and things, we we're like, dang it, we are going to run into some copyright issues. Ooh, some other peaches because, out there? Yeah, there's Peach Pit, there's Peachy from Atlanta that has yeah. an exclamation mark. So it was just all these dicey things. Yeah. Plus, it's not only that we didn't want to potentially face a lawsuit and lose <laughs> all of our money, which we did not really have any, and like maybe in, um, incur some debt, but we wanted to not get lost in like any uh-huh. searches of people trying yeah. to look for us. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah. I could see I that I think that was a very issue. secondary issue, yes. but now that we've changed our name, I'm very thankful for that. Okay, yeah, um, that's great. I'm gl- it's better to do it early. You know I, know. I, mean? you know I know, yeah, and we had put the Kickstarter together. We did a Kickstarter yes, last year. Yes, I hear year. about this. Yes, I hear about this. Um, and that ran from December 1st to January 1st. You guys got like how like a ridiculous amount it of money, It was like $6,000. Oh, yeah. that's so a lot was, of money. We really put our, our neck out there, yeah, but that's people what really came through. I noticed about those things is like, if you don't fill it all the way, like everybody gets their right. money back. That's we what's so like scary. We were so terrified. Yeah, yeah, like, scary. What if we asked for like 4000 we would have gotten that if we didn't get, if we um, like missed the mark of 6000 yeah. So it's really nerve wracking to ask for that. That's true, yes. But Imagine once it crosses the threshold, short. there's not as much like gumption to give. Yeah. So like Zach Crook and Andrew, we were like all hanging out and they were like, just go for it. Just send it. Because they'd done it. Kickstarters before and they're yeah. like, our only regret is that we wish we'd asked for more. Really? So like, I guess we're just going to put it out there, see what happens. Well, it worked out nicely on. for it you did, guys. It really I'm, did. I was really, uh, I thought it was a great idea. Um, mm-hmm. I see a lot more people doing it. It's like, it's really become popular now. Yeah. Like, Aspen was on this wave like six she years She was. Ago. She was on, go off, on top of go it. Go off. But yes, we're just on it and I'm loving it. See, I'm, I'm a participant right here, fellas. Not to brag or anything. Yes. But you can get one of these guys. You guys have any more of these? We sure do. We do have CDs. You guys need to check I got them out. in my car. CD. It's not just like a little burnt CD. I think we got a nice little picture action in here. Mm-hmm. Nice. When designed CD. it. Love yeah. it. Just love it. Great so work. Good. Yeah. Love it. I can't wait to listen to it. I just got this. Yeah. I'm excited about this. So great. So great. <laughs> so you guys got it funded all the way, and then mm-hmm. every, or I'm sure you have some sort of division on it, but like most of it goes into the studio, correct? Yes. Work all with Mr. Of, Andrew. Yes. All of it. So that's um, like our current project is going to be very different from this one. Mm-hmm. Not only like the songwriting is taking a different turn, but we in january and february we did pre-production in december after finals so we made like hardcore demos yeah in order to figure out how the songs were going to progress and then in january and february we recorded all five songs oh so it's done already yeah it was done Uh Mm -hmm. so you did this with andrew again we did we did all of this with andrew okay okay Mm -hmm. so So this this was the next record no this is for this okay sorry i got ahead of myself you're so good you're so good so last january and february Mm -hmm. so in 2020 before the pandemic did the demos we recorded demos in january or in december and then we recorded the whole ep all at once i I know yeah i don't know how i did that how long did it take you guys just curious what was the process like for that oh gosh I don't know. So it took several weeks. Yeah, but you guys weren't in there every day. We lot, right? we were in there most days. <laughs> I love it. Which is wild. That's awesome. That's like fun. I would have class, so I'd go leave, go to class, and then come back. Yeah. And like when would leave and come back? So it was this cool like rotating. Yeah, rotating yeah. schedule. Um, and different days we would do different things. So first thing we did was track piano. Okay. So we did most of it in um andrew's house with this grand piano he had yeah but it was just it was such a good piano it's in tommy's house now is it yeah 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 sweet so if you're ever itching to play it you know where it is (laughs) so the (laughs) piano is the base of all you guys songs that's where they're written that's where the the, like the home base is yeah like red-handed is the last song Mm -hmm. it's just acoustic Mm -hmm. okay and i i played it um on acoustic and the cool thing about that one production wise is it was a mic in front of me for my mm-hmm. vocals, then on the guitar, and then we had a room mic yeah. that um, was just outside the door mm-hmm. in the hallway, and the front Very door was cool. right in front of it. And so, like, halfway through the song, I'm just playing, and then Zach is mm-hmm. roommates with Andrew at the time, comes home, opens up the door, we hear this loud crash, we're like, oh no, we're screwed, but I just keep playing because the yeah. take felt really nice. And then it was silent, like, Zach realized what was going on and stopped. <laughs> so, um, but then the door was completely open. The front door was open because uh-huh. it's really creaky. So Zach just yeah. held it. 
and as I'm playing, like Andrew and I were just looking at each other, like we can't mess this take up because we could hear <laughs> birds yeah. coming in from outside and Love like all the like atmospheric that. noises. Yeah, yeah. But it was a complete accident. That's awesome. So it was really, really cool to listen back and be like, we couldn't have we planned it. for this, yeah. but it came in like at the perfect time in the song. And that was um, it. You guys just kept that one. Yeah, and so I there's no like door. That. You can't hear the door because Andrew like, uh-huh. um, he lowered the volume yeah, of like but you the can huge hear the birds stud. And stuff? Yeah. What's what? Uh-huh. You know when that is? It's like the second half of the song. Second half. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Note, I don't think I noticed. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't know. That's there's, awesome. Yeah. Stuff like that, like atmospheric mm-hmm. stuff and um, birds and mm-hmm. trees and doors and yeah. stuff. <laughs> I used to like when I really when I first started recording, I was like. It's got to be perfect. No sounds of me exactly, sitting, no yeah. sounds of me moving, no, no sounds of me breathing. Of the chair, yeah. yeah, but now it's like, fuck it, leave it in. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I didn't notice that. Now I look mm-hmm. forward to going back and listening to that one. Yeah, I like that one. Sure. That one's catchy. Yeah, there's also birds at the end of Honey, Honey. Okay, I feel like I did notice that. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of it's reminiscent. It's like as it fades, kind of. Yeah, okay. as the, um, we did that, like, uh, it's not a joke, but it was like, looking back, I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. we really like now we're just used to a different threshold of production like yeah. even going into production i was like well this audio is kind of rough but you live <laughs> and you learn um uh-huh. so for that video at the very end you can hear birds coming in through eliza's window of mm-hmm. her dorm because it was in her dorm gotcha like she would have birds come in like sit on her bed and <laughs> she awesome. was like what the heck <laughs> so it was funny but you could hear bird sounds at the end yeah. of that original video of honey honey that's awesome um, i'm gonna have to listen to that too. so we, to honor that i was like we have to have birds at the end of honey honey yeah um you have to do it yeah it's so just like, like an aesthetic thing you know yeah, what i mean it's it gives great. us some taste you know what i mean everybody yeah. wants to hear some stuff like yeah, that yeah i like that treats in there so that's cool you guys are in there every day working on it for a couple weeks yeah and you come out with mm-hmm. i mean what is the process usually like piano then guitar then vocals right. or... so we did i'm pretty i mean my memory might fail me but we did piano first mm-hmm. and actually like andrew's piano was a little too out of tune for the key of d okay so we couldn't do this old car with it yeah gotcha. so we ended up going to 1093, 1093 and yeah. tracking that piano also a nice piano so good Very and great. i think we also did midday sun when we were in there mm-hmm. no i think I don't know. It doesn't matter. But this little car was, <laughs> I think we, um, I, I tracked all, I'm proud of this. I tracked all the piano except for the beginning of Midday Sun because Andrew was so much better at getting like the open chords. Uh-huh. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Are, you, are you doing them like, are you like playing them all the way through once? Are you like overdubbing yeah. parts? You try yeah. to get the whole feel I try feel to play. One. This little car was one yeah, continuous take. To a click yeah. probably. Mm-hmm. Cool. I think okay. so. That's yeah, awesome. I'm really bad at keeping time. Even yeah, when I too. yeah start songs at shows, I'm always so slow starting. <laughs> I'm when the lights are like, come fast. on, pick it up. Wow, we need <laughs> to like fast, <laughs> meet in the middle. That'd be yes. nice. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had an internal uh-huh. metronome. That'd be cool. <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's th- definitely with a click. I think it's important to get the bass. For, for me, it's usually the acoustic guitar, but like the bass mm-hmm. one needs to be all the way through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but like feels like you need to hit it. Mm-hmm. Like at least have like like oh that was it you mm-hmm. know what I mean I don't know instead of like cutting 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 sure. you know what I mean even though I have done that yeah but yeah that's awesome that's good to know where the pianos came from because they all sound so good they mm-hmm. have a very nice um, I don't know how to put it uh, kind of this way you play it, it's like really subtle but like I won't say flashy but it's mm-hmm. like subtly mm-hmm. subtly tasty and like mm-hmm. you know what you're doing but like you're not like flex in it hmm. do you know what i mean cool yeah i don't know how to describe yeah. it it's I, but it's I'm you catching it. it's yeah. you okay that's very cool i'm glad yeah well that's awesome and then then when has the whole like oh man like tony john there mayer thing day, going on or something i we there was two electric guitar days mm-hmm. and one of them it was like elijah show at the 40 watt was that mm-hmm. night i went and i wasn't in the studio that day because i had a bunch of class and a bunch yeah. of things going on and then we all saw each other at that show. Yeah. And when and Andrew had been in the studio all day long tracking electric guitar, uh-huh. right? And so they're just like out of their minds. Like they look like they're <laughs> in a daze, but they saw me and they're like, we have to show you what we did. <laughs> yeah. We have to show you what we did. So we leave the show and then we go back to Andrew's and they're playing it. And I'm like, what in the world did y'all do? Like there's this atmospheric like, <laughs> in the background and it just sounds so nice yeah. I'm like when what and just like something just happened <laughs> like, it just happened and when just like worked his magic and just a moment in time mm-hmm. i love that he's got this whole like uh i don't know it's kind of clean it's kind of like the um god i can't remember his name maybe it's um guy from coldplay there was one there was one mm. um what's it? What's is it? Is it uh, Johnny Buck? Johnny. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say Johnny, and I, a bass player. No, I get their names mixed you're up. You're good. Um, I mean, if you 
Need there was any one of, I, oh, we're going to talk about Coldplay. Don't <laughs> okay, worry about that. Okay, thank God. <laughs> um, I think it was Midday Sun that like halfway through it, I wrote the two two minute 26 mark for anybody who mm-hmm. the exact mark. Is it the beginning of the bridge? Or yes. It, yeah. There's kind of like a, um, it kind of reminded me of Coldplay. Like mm. uh, he's doing something with his guitar that was very like subtle and like, like tasteful. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. It's probably, there's a, my gosh, when we were tracking like, because there's a piano that's like... Da, 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 yeah, it's kind of clocks. It's like the repetitive. It's kind of like clocks, you and know what then, I mean? And um, then it's very Coldplay inspired. Yeah. Even if I, I didn't realize it at the time, but yeah. I was like, that's definitely my subconscious being like, Coldplay. <laughs> Sending it, yes. Yeah. There's and, nothing um, wrong with that. Then uh, then when track is like... Bow, bow, yeah, like this yeah. slide, I'm like... <laughs> we were all like, keep doing that, keep doing that. Keep going. Yeah, and so he, yeah, it was so great. I could see he that for sure. Are you guys all, do you guys all have like a certain influences that you're into? Mm. Are they different? Are they super similar or? So. Same kind of people. Coldplay is definitely a big influence of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, like I was classically yeah. trained in piano. And uh-huh. so what inspired me is around eighth grade, all of my friends started dropping off their instruments that they were playing. Like, mm. I don't want to play piano anymore. That's lame. But I was like, well, I kind of <laughs> have to. And um, piano is how I would decompress. So if yeah. I had a rough day or even just a normal day, I'd go home. And we had play this music piano. room. When I moved away to college, my parents moved the grand piano into the middle of the house. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't have the privacy anymore. <laughs> it's still very special to me. But I'm like... It was vital in middle school and high school mm-hmm. to have the piano in its own room to where I could just close the doors yeah, and just so go now. for it. Yeah. Very vital. And so, um, where was my train of thought going? Oh, so I simply could not play classical music anymore. I was like, this uh-huh. is not it just anymore. Tired of it. I, yeah, I'm really tracks. tired of it. Um, <laughs> no more Mozart for you. You're like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, I have to find another way to practice piano. Uh-huh. And then I was like, on YouTube, whatever, saw. I was obsessed with Coldplay from like sixth grade on. Yeah. Um, it's fine. We're unhealthily obsessed, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I love them, man. They're yeah, great. They're, they're, so great. Great. they're great. And so I started learning Coldplay songs because okay. I saw this video of Chris just going off, just going doing crazy. his thing. That's I was so like, good. what? I was like, you mean to tell me I've been playing piano for what, like nine years and I can't do that? Like, this is messed up. Do I mean, what? Yeah, I was like, what? are you kidding me? So then I started learning. He's kind of um, got a classical thing to him, doesn't he? He I mean, does. a little bit, yeah, you know what I mean, Yeah, for sure, right? definitely. That's cool. Okay, yeah. so that got, and then you guys, like, are you all into Coldplay? Or, like, I mean, you, what's your, what's your top think, three for each of you? Do you guys have one, or do, can you oh, speak for them? Oh, man, I don't know if I could speak for them yeah. explicitly. I know Eliza loves John Mayer. Goat. Love she, um, she loves Leif Volabeck. I don't think I've heard of this. Great. Should I? Andrew introduced us to him. Leaf he, is in like a like a. He's leaf. really tasty. L e i f. Okay. V o l l e b e k k or something. Something. There might be one less L, but. Gotcha. I got it. He's great. He's up. very tasteful. Mm-hmm. His new album, New Ways, and even Twin Solitude, his last album, were so fantastic. I wrote this down. I'm gonna have to check. They're this so out. great. They're just woof. <laughs> Ooh. Leaf and then your great. top three. Um. And Eliza also loves Ben Howard. Ben Howard. That's very fair. My mm-hmm. top are probably Coldplay mm-hmm. and Foster the People. Oh, yeah. They got which a cool is, vibe. Ooh, they're cool so vibe. cool. Definitely, I don't think they influence me as much. Yeah. Because we have a very different vibe going yeah. on. But I wouldn't have guessed that one for you. Right, right. Yeah. But they're cool. They have a cool little, like, they're really cool. Yeah. synthy thing going on. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do know. And mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of a third one, but I'm trying to think of my, like, Spotify wrapped. I know it's tough to ask. I can't. Top three is tough to pick. They're not filling in my mind, but. (laughs) How about Mr. Wynn? Who's he? I know he's a John Mayer fan. John Mayer fan for sure. He also loves John Batiste. John Batiste. Um, That name sounds so familiar. Is he blues guy? Yes, he do. He does really like blues. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I just really can't (laughs) think of our music taste. He's gonna be like crazy. Obviously, this isn't this, but I can't think of it. When, but yeah. Yo, my man, I want to talk about John Mayer, so you better come back with her next time, all right? Sick. I want to talk about yeah, John yeah. Mayer hard. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're a John Mayer fan, are you? I, he's great. He's got a new song coming out. Have you seen this? He dropped no. a little snippet. It sounds like... I um, saw like a reel or something of like a yeah. short little clip. Yeah, and, and like, it didn't have Dude. any song in it. And then yesterday he posted one with a little bit of song in it. I'm excited about it. It sounds mm-hmm. like... um. Sounds like Africa from Toto. Go listen to it. <laughs> we'll listen to it after this, and I'll show you. Okay, it literally great. sounds just like Africa. Okay, cool. Which is funny, but yeah, I'm we'll down for it. It sounds Maybe like super just 80s. All of us. Okay. Maybe so. It should be good, <laughs> okay. but I'm excited for it. Um, wow. Yeah, 
I could definitely see that uh, Wynn is big into him. Like, I could mm-hmm. just kind of hear Oh, Wynn loves the Grateful Dead. Yeah, does he? Okay. He's huge deadhead. I'm surprised yeah. about that one. That's surprising. He, what he will do, like, I mean, last year, we, I'd be like, let's hang out at this time. So I'd show mm-hmm. up at his house. I'm outing him, but I think it's incredible. He would just be, he would have like an hour or two hour concert of the uh-huh. Grateful Dead playing or John Mayer, any of the above. And he'd just be like sitting playing along to it really I'm like you are so good at this i could not <laughs> do just do that that's yet. crazy so no. he loves a grateful dad I i'm glad love... i remembered that yeah that's awesome yeah that's cool mm-hmm. <laughs> just play it along i yeah. could never i could yeah <laughs> i watch them once like an hour and a half like show that. but like i don't i don't play with him mm-hmm. that takes mm-hmm. talent that's awesome mm-hmm. He's i can see and it's like he doesn't play too much a lot of guitar players like to um myself Try included. pack it all in yeah there, like yeah. they're like like too much, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like he, when he plays, it's important. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I think that goes yeah. hand in hand with when he speaks too. Yeah, same kind of thing. It's yeah. very packed. It's like when he, yeah. when he, he doesn't say much from when I've been around him, mm-hmm. but when he does speak up, mm-hmm. it's usually important. Mm-hmm. You better listen. <laughs> Which I like it. I uh-huh. like it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I unfortunately haven't got to see you guys play yet, but I will oh, on, uh, what is it, April 24th? Yeah, that's right. That's I'm correct. looking April forward 24th. to this. This is a cool lineup. Um, yeah. Southern Brewing Company. Tell me a little bit about it. So, um, I just I love Jane Jess. They're mm. some good friends of They're mine, so nice. and they so facts. Nice. And our first show is with them. Yeah, at that's a crazy. thousand bases, and so it's really really cool um, mm. to be on a, like a bill with them, yeah, especially like post COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Jess asked me about it, and I was yeah. like, a hundred percent, like no brainer. Yes. Um, I was like, I'll text Eliza and win, but I'm pretty sure. Like, <laughs> We you checked it. We're clear. Pencil us in real quick, and then you can write it in pen in two minutes. With your response. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, she just texted me. Yeah, I was like, hey, I might like. I would love for y'all to open up for and us. Are you guys first or second? We're first. First, okay. Yeah. Open slot. I like mm-hmm. that slot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and who's second? They told me uh, I had them on last week, and uh, they told me a little bit about him. But I, I was under the impression that they were um, an Athens group, but they're not. I guess. Do you know I'm anything not about sure. Them? I haven't met them. I believe yeah. the name is Three Star Revival. Three Star Revival. I'm gonna have to but check them out I've too. I've never, yeah. Because I'm looking forward to this. I don't. I've never been to Southern Brewing Company. Have you? I have. Is it it's, pretty cool? It's great. I think it's a great music venue. Um, I had heard of it before, but I was like, to play there will yeah. be really cool because it's an open place. It's really yeah. open. It's like a huge field. Interesting. So there's plenty of room for social distancing, That's which awesome. makes me excited to be able to play a show and play it safely without. Yeah. And That's like cool. with integrity, without like concern yeah, that other you, people might. Uh, Hotel t- Fiction told me, but I can't remember. You guys doing pods or how's it working again? Oh, I probably yeah, like it'll probably be like pods. sectioned off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm looking forward to that. I'm about to get yeah, some I mean, tickets. I think the early bird tickets uh-huh. thing still happening. I have to get I have in there. No clue. <laughs> I was like, so is it? Is there a limit to it? And she's like, no, because it's outside. And I was like, okay, oh, so, so there's no bird. cap. Right. Wow. Okay. It must be pretty damn big then. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It's really? a huge field. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. I've never been there. I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to this. Um. Me too. Let's see. What else was I going to say about that? It's pretty cool. Cool lineup. I was glad to see two of you guys that I knew on there. And um, mm-hmm. this is what date again? April 24th. Is mm-hmm. that right? Correct. Okay. Saturday? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Everybody Everybody watching, you're going to have to pull mm-hmm. up to that now, right? Come out and see mm-hmm. the lighthearted ladies mm-hmm. and the Hotel Fiction and mm-hmm. the Three Star Revival. Is that yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. Are you guys, how long are you playing for? Do you know? Maybe like 45 minutes. That sounds about right yeah. for the opener, yeah. Sounds you guys right. have a, what's you guys set list like? Just curious. Is it all original? So, you guys play any covers? Yeah. Uh, so our most recent show, actually, we played at um, Canopy in the Roots. It's a venue in Dahlonega, Georgia. Dahlonega. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. A little travel. So yeah, a little, it's like an hour and a couple minutes north. north. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, cool. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So we played there end of January. Mm-hmm. Great venue. Um, yeah, they're about... I think it was capped at 50 people. So 50 okay. people came. Yeah. Our family came, Let's which go. was really sweet. That's awesome. Um, and we played for an hour and a half then, yeah. which is that? so much time to fill. It was great. It really pushed us. Did you guys take a break or just an hour we and a half took, straight? We took a break. So we did two 45-minute sets. Um, How was the voice feeling after that? You little shot? It was fine. Or you're pretty it good? It was fine. I think... I put my voice through a lot typically, yeah. so I think she's fine. But <laughs> like, she's a seasoned vet. Girl, we're going to take a break after this for sure. But it was really, it was great. We played, I think we have 10 original songs, songs. at this point. Because wow, we have okay. five that were released under Asking yeah. for a Friend, and we have five new ones. Five new ones, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So you've got yeah. just the EP out at this point. Yes, we just okay. have that. And so you've got 10, so you are going to play all originals. Yes, Sweet. I think so. We might like... 
I don't know. My sneak cut out them. Yeah, we might sneak a little sneak cover because we played a lot of covers at Canopy and the Roots. What kind of covers were you guys playing? Um, Just curious. We which... played. Um, I'd have you any time by George Harrison. Cool. We played The Alarmist by Pine Grove. We mm-hmm. played Deep in Love by Bonnie Light Horseman. If you haven't heard I Bonnie heard Light Horseman, one. you should definitely check them out. Bonnie is in like Bonnie and Clyde. Like B O N N Y. B O N N Y. They're the a fairly new group. Um, but yeah, like Justin Vernon's on one of their songs okay. of I'm Bonnie Bear. Check Vare, this out. I'm looking they're to so it. great. So we yeah. covered their songs. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, cool. We played a lot of covers. So I'm just like, it was a very tiring show. Yeah. But I was like, this is good to like build stamina. Oh, no doubt. No I was doubt. like, if Definitely. anything will do it, this will do it. Well, the thing for me, we just, I played last, or Friday. I don't nice. know today is Wednesday. Yeah. And, um, it was our first two hour show oh of like God. full band, full energy. And like, wow. usually I'm tired after 45 minutes, but we made it two hours. I was like, dude, now, now like 45 I'm minutes amped. is yeah. going to seem like nothing. You know yeah. What I mean? So I hope that 45 minutes is still fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it will be, but mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like after playing an hour and a half or two, you're like, damn, 45 minutes. That just flew by. You're like that, uh, <laughs> I blinked. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing, For I real. guess. But, um, mm-hmm. uh, it is nice to be able, like the thing about those long shows is you, you just have to play covers. You know what I mean? Like you don't, mm-hmm. unless you've been playing for years, like you just don't have enough originals. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't, I mean, if it's not your crowd necessarily, you know what I mean? You can't just play right. two hours worth It's of better to play some songs that people might, yeah. like, keep them interested. Yeah, give them a little taste. Got a little yeah. taste. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you guys are playing. I'm excited that the music's coming back. It seems like Southern Bruin is doing a good job of getting people in there. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw um, today, I think Shameless James, Divine Mind, and um, Alien Funk Academy. I, guys I know, I don't know if okay. you know any of them, but they're all playing there. Wow, so I'm like, cool. shout out Southern Brewing for getting something going with mm-hmm. the big field. Great. So I could have done this sooner, but um, it is what yeah. it is. Yeah, true. Very cool. So uh, tell me about the singles. Let's see. We talked about them a little bit. I think mm-hmm. my favorite's Honey Honey. Mm. It's so catchy. Yeah. So catchy. I remember was, when this one came yeah. out. I think we were in class, or maybe it was towards the end of class, but um, maybe we weren't. I don't know, but I feel like being around and seeing you when it came out. Mm. Yeah. When when did this one come out? Is it March? It came, yes. Yeah? It came out a little later in March, mm. I believe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this is so catchy. Tell me about mm. this one. Um, so this is the one that we wrote in Eliza's dorm with our friend Jack. Um, mm. So this so is the peach days. This is the peach days, like the very early peach days, like the very start of gotcha. Um, just songwriting in general for me. And so we were just playing around. Jack kept mumbling like something that I thought was honey, honey. Yeah. So I just took it and ran with it. Um, and uh, <laughs> the song, Jack is really goofy. And so the song was like, it talks about... Like, we're flying to the moon, um, you'll yeah. need your astro suit, and, like, mm-hmm. don't forget your moon mm-hmm. boots, which is just Love really, it. like, <laughs> it's funny because when I think about that song, no pun intended, it's, like, a lighthearted song. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's really very... airy and, uh-huh. like, makes you feel. Yeah. It's just, like, there's no. No, like, yeah. uh, deep. Not deep, but, like, you know Yeah, what I mean? it like, can be deep if you'd like it to yeah. be, but it's kind of, like. You guys do a good job of that, like writing stuff that's like not specific. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's like it, um, like you can do with it what you please. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure. Sure, there's room for the imagination. Yeah, that's mm. it. Yeah, it's mm. a good way to put it. That's mm. cool. I like that. That's very yeah. awesome. And it's just so catchy. It's got such a cool vibe to it. Mm. Very cool. Yeah, and, and there's um, only one verse on that one. Yeah. I don't think I've ever noticed. Is it really just one verse? It's just one verse at the beginning. And then what happens? Chorus. And then the build up. Okay. Like yeah. when, and build then everything comes in and then it's just the chorus again. I love it. Yeah. I love changing the arrangement up. Me and me yeah, and I mean, I talk about that. <laughs> I think it's mainly just because um whether it's intentional or not, mm-hmm. I it's like it was hard for me to write songs at first and so mm-hmm. I just kind of took what I had. Yeah. So with even midday sun it's like it's kind of a weird song structure as well. Like mm-hmm. when Andrew yeah, started is, producing yeah. it, he was like, this isn't really normal. And I was like, well, it's normal <laughs> for me, I guess. But it's a verse and then it's a chorus and then it's a verse. And then the breakdown. And then chorus and then the bridge uh-huh. and then the breakdown after that like has a completely different feel. It does. And then a chorus again. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. I, yeah. I've talked about this a lot too. I'm, I'm, I'm all about messing with the arrangements. Mm-hmm. It makes things so much more interesting. It just, they and I get of... tired of being like, man, I need a bridge here. Or, you yeah. know, or like... I have to have a second verse. It's like, oh my God, like, do I? Mm-hmm, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But that's cool. I'm glad you guys are mixing it up. So I'm definitely, I think it's like halfway mark, maybe a midway sun was like, I was like, whoa, this is different mm-hmm. here. This is different. Mm-hmm. It's got a nice little build and mm-hmm. doing some sort of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know Something's what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
And yeah. um, let's see. So, Honey Honey is your second single. Yes. This whole, this whole car is the first. Mm-hmm. True. Sure is. This one's yeah. got a shit ton of streams. <laughs> How many streams has this guy got at this point? I think like 500. 27,000. That's just on yeah. Spotify, though, right? Mm-hmm. What are you looking at on Apple? I have are you no guys at a million? Idea. You're not a stream no, girl. You don't no. care. I, that I stuff mean, don't matter. Spotify is what I use personally. Yeah. I found this to be true. Like, I have some friends who use Apple Music, and so mm-hmm. therefore they promote more on Apple Music. Interesting. But I, I don't really know how to look in it, even on Apple Music, because I'm not like subscribed to their streaming services. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, I, had, I tried it because like everybody was like, dude, get on Apple. They mm-hmm. pay more per stream or whatever. And I got on there. Right. It's just like so, like, uh, it's not the same. I don't know. Mm. I've been on Spotify too long. I like it. Yeah. But I, what I wish Spotify would do, I wish they'd give you a count at the bottom of their page that says like, this artist has 1.5 million streams. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I well, kind of like stuff like that. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's, that's cool. It 500,000 is, is no small It feat. hit it the other day or like Ooh. the other week. And I was like, Half a Whoa. mil ski? I know. It's crazy. Jeez. Just in, picked in, up some stream, in some a steam. Year? And, yeah. That's super impressive. It was you guys just after the million. one year mark. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. So yeah, yeah okay. So it's, it's this one's different too because there's a tempo change in there, isn't there? there? It is. There's some sort of like <laughs> yeah. It's smooth with it too. Like it's mm-hmm. like verse. So it's and six then it eight in the verse, and then uh, I had just written it. Eliza and I played like our friend Emily Rogers had this day in the park mm-hmm. um, where it's kind of funny because right now the whole area I think it's on College Avenue in between like yeah. the Chick Fil A and Walkers. Okay. Um, it's shut down right now. Yes, it's a park up? right now. Yeah. But back then, it you was like a street. <laughs> and so they put, <laughs> so like, on ago. the different parallel parking spots, they had a park set up. Uh-huh. So it was like a bunch of seating, and they had live music all day. And uh-huh. Eliza ended it, and I was in an art history class at the time. So I, like, left it early, got on a bus, got off at the arch, yeah. ran, and, like, sang a couple songs with Eliza. <laughs> and after that... Um, we were just kind of amped up. We were just so excited to play. Yeah. And I would always bring my keyboard over to Eliza's house, and uh-huh. then we'd jam out from there. But Eliza already had her guitars yeah. on her because she was playing something. And so she just brought them over to my house, and we set up on our back deck, uh-huh. on my back deck, it because it? it was a pretty day. Yeah. And um, I'd, like, written the first part, like, the I'm willing to drive all the miles. This yeah, little yeah. Go, just show you how I miss you so and it was, uh, that's all I had written. So I started playing it for her, and she was like, that's nice, that's nice. <laughs> that's and then we kind of, like, kept jamming out. And when it would transition from the verse to the chorus, I would really struggle getting mm-hmm. it right. Like, I was like, I just can't play this on the piano. I don't know yeah. why. And Eliza, there was a voice memo, and I was listening back to it, like, a couple days later. And that's when I realized the tempo changed, because it's in 6-8 of, like, I was willing to drive all the miles yes. so it's like in 6a and then notice, before the honestly. chorus it's like dun dun dun, dun, dun. Yeah. so Liza yeah. was stamp her foot and then i was listening to it and i was like it's in 4-4 right there <laughs> i didn't even realize i had done it i think there's some like happy signatures? mistakes yeah that's awesome see i didn't yeah. even notice it was in 6a i knew i thought you guys just sped up kind of Right, that's what it felt like too, yeah. and that's when I play it, it just feels like we're speeding up, which is fun because it's cool. about no, a car. It's, yeah, it's great. No, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's funny. It's about a car. It speeds mm-hmm. up. I mm-hmm. like it. Nice mm-hmm. little touch there. That's a little nifty <laughs> trick there. I wish I could say it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fun. So you guys kind of piece them together, and it just kind of wrote itself, right? Yeah, that one happened very quickly. Yeah, mm-hmm. the best ones do. I'm just I saying. know. I'm like, wow. I talk about this every episode, but I I'm know. like, dude, usually the ones that are good, it's they like just like a moment fucking... of inspiration. Yes. Yeah. It's like you just reached out and grabbed it. Yeah. Like it was already there. Right. And there's this I quote think. by Picasso that Picasso. I frequently have to remind myself of. Uh-huh. It goes like, inspiration comes, it just has to catch you working. Nice. And I so like that... It. It's like that is so true. I'm writing that down. Yeah, too. it's so road. it's so great. Um, Inspiration comes. It just has to catch you working. I love quote like that. Yeah, like in that instance, I was just kind of messing around, and then inspiration came, and uh-huh. I was working, and so I was able to ride the yeah. wave more. Like you just caught it. I'm mm-hmm. a big believer in that stuff, mm-hmm. man. Like I I like I almost believe that they're already there. Mm. a little bit mm. that you just have to be like on the right i think songs are frequency. gifts like yeah. it's hard to think I like, like even with our ep it was weird to think that there are songs that i had written because it yeah. felt so out of my hands like they yeah just, it's like you've tapped like it was into really something. a gift yeah yeah it's like where do they come from you know what yeah. i mean like where does somebody just sit down and and uh maybe it's i think it's yellow isn't it yellow that chris just like yeah. just wrote you yeah. know what i mean they had been they had started recording the whole album mm-hmm. and something just didn't feel very right yeah and so 
because you know all the rest of the songs on parachutes are very beautiful they're just more very like acoustic-y. chill yeah. yeah yeah i noticed that too um and they're more abstract mm-hmm. like high speed mm-hmm. and don't panic and mm-hmm. all of Shiver those and stuff mm-hmm. they're more yeah. abstract and so then chris went outside saw the stars wrote yellow and then they're like this is it. I that's like, that's it. See, that's crazy. crazy. Like, I feel like they already exist almost. Mm-hmm. That's a weird theory, I guess. Yeah. But like, yeah. I feel like you just have to put yourself on the frequency. And you have to be looking for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not looking for the song, like, if you're not actively writing, I don't mm-hmm. think you're just going to write one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It also takes work. Like, for some yeah. songs, it does just takes sitting with it. Yeah. Over yeah. a long period of time. Sometimes it does. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. true. That kind of hurts my theory. But, like, you know what right. I mean? Like, yeah. sometimes it they really don't. just depends. Yeah. But usually, the really, really good ones, they just fucking appear, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is so interesting. Um, I think it's like an Ed, Ed Sheeran quote or something. He's like, songwriting's like uh, turning on a sink. Have you ever heard this? No, I it's haven't. Like, it's like turn on a sink and like all the... Or, oh, I'm not phrasing it right. <laughs> but it's like you turn on a sink and all like brown, like mud water runs out mm, and then it first, clears. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you got to get the, the shit out of the way to like get it to the good songs. You know what mm. I mean? And I'm a big believer, like, even if I write something that's, like, not good, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, one day closer to a better one. You exactly, know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. For you sure. You got to get them out of the way. Like, they're in yeah. the system. And, mm-hmm. like, you can't sit down every day and just write a banger. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that would be too easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some people do. I'm like, wow. I wish I could do that. <laughs> See, I, I, I thought about the whole, like, Nashville thing, like, moving to Nashville and doing mm-hmm. the whole publishing deal thing. But I was like, man... I don't know if I want to turn it into a job like mm. that. You know what I mean? Like mm. it might just be too close to like being work. Like, oh my God, I have to go mm. write a song. That's the thing. My friend Kimmy, she lives in Nashville. Yeah. Does she and do that? She, so her roommate, I met her roommate a couple months ago. She's mm. great. Her name's Daphne. Daphne. Um, she's a great songwriter. And she, I'd never thought about this before. And it's kind of wrecked me since. But she was like, if I want songwriting and music mm. to be my job, I have to treat it as one first. So she sits down every day and tries to write a song and usually wow. is successful. Wow. She's like, if I want to be successful, I simply have to practice my craft and do it every day. She writes one a day. I think so. Yeah. That's the Shout goal. At least. You say Kimmy? Her name's, so Kimmy is my friend, but it's Daphne, uh-huh. her roommate. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay shout out yeah. Daphne that is impressive yeah 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 that's very interesting I don't know but I'm like that is very fair of that's if fair. you want to move into something professionally you have to approach it in that way yeah yeah definitely yeah. I respect that yeah. alright let me make sure these cameras are still filming cool 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 <laughs> I like to make sure uh huh we're making good ground here <laughs> see what we're doing looking good looking good it's a little dark that's fine you know it's just the afternoon vibes so if the film is a little dark, just don't be surprised. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It yeah, is what course. it is. Of course, of course. I'm gonna pause this right quick. Hold on, people. I like to pause and get a little save in. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Like we weren't even gone. You won't even realize we're gone. I'll throw some elevator music right there. <laughs> but like we just needed a, we needed a quick breather. Mm-hmm. Um, did I already say if the film was a little dark, uh, just roll with it. We're having some some yeah. lighting issues in here. Yeah. We're working through. It's but right. it's a day. It's about the aesthetic. You know it's what I mean? True. It's real. We're not gonna sit on it's the about camera. The words we say. Exactly. Like, we're not gonna sit on the camera all day messing with the white balance. You know true. what I mean? We're no. gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Yeah. Awesome. So it's going great so far. Um, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, what were we just talking about? We we're talking about songwriting. I think. Yes, we we're talking about songwriting and. Um... Any other weird songwriting experiences? Or well, the others, any ones you've strode with and you've made it through? Hmm. Any other, um, any other stuff like that? <laughs> Not the computer charger. Let me see. Well, Midday Sun. I'm trying to think if there's any like stories with songs that haven't been released yet. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, there's only there's only been one time, and Eliza feels so bad about this. Every time I bring her a song, she's like, "This is great. Mm-hmm. This is awesome." And then over quarantine, we were staying at our parents' house for a couple months. Yeah. And I was tr- I just wanted so badly to write a song, so I was trying, and I played a song that I was writing for her, and she was like, <laughs> "I love you, but I don't think you should work on this song anymore. I think you should approach it for a different angle." And I was like, "That's the first time you've ever said that." But okay. <laughs> I will try. The band is breaking up. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're usually just ready for the green light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so well, I was like, good, that's though. fair, that's fair. And so it really pushed me to try and write differently. Yeah. And so I ended up writing this song called Harvester. Um, Harvester, cool. Yeah, and so it's yeah. kind of about, um, it talks about, like, being in a desert. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, 
it talks about like an owl mm-hmm. um of like this need to constantly keep up and, yeah like the whole thing about the harvester is like i put myself in a position of where i was on a farm uh-huh. and like the harvester was coming and all of my land was dried up interesting and that's i was cool. like because that's kind of how it felt in yeah, quarantine for the, like yeah it was time like yeah. musically we we're doing a lot and then all of a sudden everything was dry. dry yeah gotcha 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 and so um that's cool like a third person kind of thing going on there or well yeah. maybe not third i, mean, I don't like, think it's necessarily third but that's like the position i put myself yeah. in to kind of explore it from like that a different angle. a different landscape yeah. and like hanging out now mm-hmm. so that's kind of interesting mm-hmm. not a lot of people so, are doing that that's cool yeah um it's definitely like i wouldn't say i'm like scared of the song but mm-hmm. it's very different from things i've yeah. done before so it's definitely like Mm-hmm. <laughs> i know i'm like okay here it is <laughs> but um yeah it's kind of about the sentiment of like having to stay ahead constantly yeah. that's um, awesome i look forward to hearing that yeah, one um, so, tell me more about some of the new ones that are coming out if you don't mind yeah i don't mind so um i think they are moving in a more folky direction interesting cool which is ooh. Quick second, let me yeah. pause my quick. I always do this at start. What genre are you guys? What are you considered? Right. So we, I think we are like in indie's annoying because it's uh-huh. like independent. Yeah, it's like everybody is. Right, but it's like but okay, it so you're just sense. not pop. But yeah. it's like indie. I would say folk rock simply because we have drums. Um, yeah. But I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. I definitely would have said uh, probably Indian folk. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys are trying to like. You're not really singer songwriter, are you? Not no, really. No, because you guys are a duo yeah. kind of thing. But like, definitely songwriters. Mm-hmm. It's, such, it's mm-hmm. such a tough thing, man. Mm-hmm. I love it's asking really that tough. question because like everybody comes in with something mm-hmm. new. I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I continue no, on. You're good. Um, and it's even hard to categorize our music because I'm like, this is me mm-hmm. on piano and Eliza singing in on guitars. So yeah, just with guitar like electric guitar from wind and then bass and drums you guys do sound really original i'll give you that like you have Mm, your own like have your own um like i don't know like you guys and like hotel fiction and Mm -hmm. aspen like sometimes i like i just don't know what to compare you guys to Mm. you know what i mean it's like wow they're really like doing their own thing no that's great that's great you're doing something different you really are i love it and i I just think that's great Mm, so yeah yeah so continue on tell me more about the upcoming so the new stuff um the song that we're working on with andrew right now it's called Mm. ghost ghost i wrote it um last october i had like recently it was like come kind of out of a relationship i was just Mm -hmm. like i need time to think i don't think this is gonna work right now and i was sitting on my front porch and we had had halloween party except mm-hmm. it was in the middle of october because we also hadn't had a housewarming party so it was a Halloween warming party and <laughs> you <laughs> like, guys are funny <laughs> thank you thank you and um my roommate Addie had a string that went from the edge of our porch to a tree in our front yard okay and we'd put a sh- white sheet over it and drew some whole, like yeah so it was like a little ghost in the front yard Love and it. so um i we'd had the party this um person that i was like it was this weird like in between like we had mm. almost dated and then we ended up dating but yeah um he came to this party and i was like dang i feel really bad I, <laughs> I think you're cool but i don't know how to go about it yeah. and so i sat down and i wrote this song on the front porch and it's kind of funny i i used to smoke cigarettes mm-hmm. like a decent amount like it was a social thing and yeah, then i yeah. realized i was I'd like smoked one or two on my own and I was like, okay, Gracie, hard, hard stop. You cannot get addicted to cigarettes. I think I'm good. Yeah. I was like, this is my also time. Also as a singer. Yeah. I was like, this is not, not a, maybe in a different oh, life, but not, funny. no. Um, so I was sitting on my front porch and mm. I was smoking a cig and I yeah. drew a big breath in uh-huh. and then I like, I like almost choked or yeah, like coughed yeah, on it and I was like, on. oh, and I had my guitar. So I was like. I want to try and write something because I'm kind of sad and I can't even smoke a cig right now because I I felt like it almost killed me. (laughs) Um, So, like, the verse words are like, fire in my eyes, smoke in my lungs, the sounds of the night, my only comfort. Nice. The ghost in the yard can't protect me. Where are you now? You stand still and blinking. So it was kind of like, there's a lot of words New York? Why New York? It just rhymed? Um, It's the ghost in the front yard. Oh, I thought you said where, New York. I'm where sorry. are you now? Maybe that was it. I don't know where New York came from. I could have swore, sounded... <laughs> swore you said the ghost in no, New York. No, 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 no. That would be interesting, though. That's we, funny. We have to explain okay. it. But, At least so, it has yeah. a, a story to it. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You need to tell that story when you yeah. release it. That's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I wrote it and it was kind of from his perspective Mm -hmm. of you left. Why did you leave? Where did you go? So you got this whole perspective thing going on. Yeah. And so it was like first person, but it was from someone like I put myself in his shoes almost. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, not a lot of people do that. That's tough to Mm. do to put yourself elsewhere as opposed to just like, it kind of helps me to see outside of myself. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Very awesome. I look forward to hearing that one. Yeah. Um, so three more. Tell me about the other three. Right. So there's Ghost, I'm very and then curious. there's Harvester, or like Harvester, the Harvester. Yeah. I don't know these names are tentative. Um, and then we played the song called Wild Woods. I think oh, it's my favorite. It's, okay. It's um, we played it on a live stream with Breaking the Shackles that we recorded okay. at Tommy's house back in the fall. I feel like I heard about this. Mm-hmm. I feel like I heard so about this. if you'd like to hear it in its entirety, it's on there. It's out there. We, we can put it, it in the link. Great. You yeah. Put it in I'll link? send you. I will yes. send you it. Yes. Send me the link. But um, I think we played This Little Car and Honey Honey and Midday Sun mm. on that live stream as well. Awesome. So it's it's a this great. This will live be stream. this will be good for everybody who's yeah, listening who's new to listen. the lighthearted gang. Yeah. yeah so. Um, with Wild Woods, that's more explorative as, bo- as mm. well. I um, It talks about, um, like, the first verse is about, like, I imagined, you know, a couple years ago when there's a, an eclipse, like the yeah, moon. Yeah, yeah. And, you, could, uh, you had to wear the glasses. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, me and my family went into a 99% totality zone because it was near where my grandparents lived. Wow. And so it was, like, as it passed, it was, like, sunset and then sunrise happened wow so the sky changed all those colors and then the animals came out for a minute really because the sky was showing them that it was was, sunset and like dusk and then it was all of a sudden dawn again so they were really confused and it was like this is funny (laughs) like all the birds were making the noises and the crickets were out and then they're like full stop wait it's still day it's so funny i'm gonna head out (laughs) i know they're like i guess mm, that was my cue my sleeping schedule is so messed up right now (laughs) i just slept for a minute i don't know that was a really short night but um i kind of i guess i kind of put myself in the shoes of the moon after Mm. that of like because the moon is a reflection of the sun. Yes. Like that's, its light is a reflection of the sun and that's it's why opposite. it's bright. Uh-huh. And so like after the eclipse, I kind of was like, okay, what if the moon misses that? Gotcha. Or like didn't ask for it, but now it can't think about anything else but the sun. Oh, and like it saying. can't see anything that's brighter yeah. than it. See, that's um, a crazy perspective right yeah. there. How did you come up with that? I don't know. I was thinking about it. So um, this one dates back a couple of years. Like you've had this one stowed away. No, I just thought of it. Oh, it was, this okay. is the most recent song. So it was yeah. like a couple months old. Wow. But I thought of that event. That's some crazy yeah. shit, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's uh, like, mm-hmm, like, geez, mm-hmm. I'm just writing songs about like just hanging out. Like I'm about to fucking step it up a little bit. I'm like, gonna have to change things up. It's here. hard for me to write about normal things. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's it's great. It's easier for me that's to write so... metaphors and things. So yeah. like the chorus talks about, um, it's like you said you'd wait for me, but would you? Mm-hmm. And so it's like the moon, so. if it's waiting for the sun again, it's like, well, we'll. Like, will you wait for yeah. me to come around again? And that's kind it's of like take some years. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm take a long time like you're gonna be waiting a while but anyway and then um like the second verse talks about like a stream that's working Mm -hmm. its way back to the sea interesting that's like up in some wild woods which is where the name of the song comes Uh, from okay so it's like it hears the sea being like come back to Uh me because all water like recycles yeah back into a bigger source Mm -hmm. that's interesting yeah so it's like about that just in one song yeah i'm gonna have to fucking step it up (laughs) Note to self, <laughs> write about things other than drinking beers and hanging out with friends. Note to self. It's <laughs> easier for me to do that. I think it's That's fun. awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's cool. I look yeah. forward to hearing that. That right. sounds fascinating. So it's way different than the stuff from the first EP. Yeah. Um, and is there a single plan yet? Like, do you have, like, do you, like, all oh, these are singles or we're you don't planning, know? We're planning to record Ghost. Like, mm. that's the first one we're recording with Andrew right now. Yeah. Um. And then we'll see what happens from there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing something from you guys. Yeah. What are the other two? Okay, there's two left. Sorry. Right, I there's the two. Yeah. Yes, You're tell so me about good. the other You're two. So I want to know about it. I, I love know. talking about it. So the other two, there's one that's called um, The Cold. The Cold. I wrote it during the summer. <laughs> um, huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the interesting thing about it. There's... Um, uh, do what? <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on. Let's <laughs> um, that's kind of the irony of it. I like went through a breakup this uh-huh. summer. Yeah. And it kind of felt like a winter coming gotcha. in the in July, like the beginning of July. Yeah, yeah. So it was this really interesting thing to be like, wait, but emotionally it's like going to be a really hard time, even yeah. though it's like really the exact opposite juxtaposes yeah. it from like the environment outside. Interesting. Um, 
and so it was kind of like the first verse is like talking about um i love to ask questions when i write too all the time like the reason why our ep is called asking for a friend Mm -hmm. is because i love that sentiment of entering into relationship and asking how to care for one another better Uh but like in honey honey it's like don't you know that we'll get there soon this old car is um how am i to blame so they're all Um, kind of related to that concept kind of thing i think stuff like that's cool so Ask I love writing questions. And it's open-ended, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you can answer it how you please. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> and so that's just naturally how... Um, it was hard for me to see a common thread that connected the songs I was writing. Yeah. Because it felt like the only thread that connected them was the time in which I wrote them. Gotcha. That they were just like, these are the songs that I wrote in this span of a couple yeah, months. But actually, it's that. like the questions. Because I didn't oh. really have a track record of a catalog of songs to look back and be like... I like to write about these things. Yeah, I only yeah. had five songs to work with. So I was like, <laughs> I guess I like to write questions because I was writing down all the lyrics to try and figure something out. But that's, that's where the I EP think name comes like from. Great. Right, I think that's but, like so much more interesting than like, that's one of my least mm-hmm. favorite things. Not that I like dislike all of them, but like when a song is um, too specific, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It looks like you know exactly what it's about and mm-hmm. exactly like everything about it. Like no, no open-ended questions kind right, of thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, one of my least favorite things about some people's songs, mm-hmm. but I really love it when you can just figure it out yourself. Sure. And then I hate it when you read what it's actually about sometimes, mm-hmm. and you're like, nope, that's not what I, th- nope, I know <laughs> like, what it's about. Wow, that's, that's weird. That's I didn't not it. Guess that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I definitely knew what this was, mm-hmm. and now it means something different. Yeah, so, exactly. I don't know if you feel like this. Uh, I, I don't think you do. I don't either. Like um, for a little while there, I was like, oh, I'm not going to explain any of my songs. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So that sure. so that that it preserves that. Sure. But like, nah. I decided to be against that. Would you? Mm. What do you think about that? I think explaining songs is the simple only way for me to have any type of stage banter. I think I'm so. really bad at stage banter. No, no way. It's hard. It's the hardest part it about hard. playing a show. It's like silence. And so I found that it's easier to talk about yeah. what the song is about and how it was written before yeah. we go into it. I do in order too. to connect with people better <laughs> and to let them into the process instead of it just being another song. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, that's great. That's super smart because mm-hmm. I do that too. Like my brain is in like song ends. I'm like, okay, so I wrote this one. I was sitting yeah, here yeah, and yeah. then this is going to be a single next year. Like my brain just like clicks to that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, got to stop saying that, James. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got to switch it mm-hmm. up. But I get what you mean. That's great. So, um, yeah, cool. Uh, what single are we on? I'm sorry. Uh, so you're good. We're on the cold. Jumping. The reason why the cold, I talked yeah. about it is because it opens with a bunch of questions. It's like... Mm-hmm. Tell me love. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, tell me love. What? Where do you go when the lights are off and no one's home to let you in? Mm-hmm. Like, tell me love. What do you see when you stare back at me? Am gotcha. I an old friend or a stranger? And we're getting into the, the details and the nitty gritty no, of these songs, that. which is cool. But I love that. It's um, gonna be even cooler when they all come out. Yeah, be true. Like, oh, you're like, oh, yeah. she was. That's what she was talking Word. about. <laughs> so it's um kind of like asking. Um, it was kind of like my perspective of yeah. asking things. Um. A, like through this breakup that I just went through trying to mm-hmm. process it. And like, the it was cold is fresh. coming. Right. And concept? so it was like, um, yeah. So actually the first verse is like, tell me love, where do you go when the lights are off and no one's home to let you in? Do you wait there in the cold? Uh, okay. And then the okay. second verse starts off with, um, tell me love, how did we get here? Um, mm-hmm. And then it like keeps going and it says, uh, tell me love, what did you feel? Yeah. When the snow was coming up to our heels, you looked so happy in the cold. So it's like how the cold kind of like, I don't know. Ships the story. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a central theme. I like that. Yeah. I look Um, forward to hearing this one now. Yeah. Thank you. So that's going to be fun. That one. Um, <laughs> You're good at explaining these. You thank actually... you. I'm really trying. I'm like coming from the like banks of my memory to remember that even the lyrics, what it's about. But usually everybody's like, uh, I don't really remember. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So it's yeah, good yeah, that yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. And then the last one, we'll just get through this one, not through it because it's important, <laughs> but we can start talking about other things um, as well. But the last one is called Anyone But You. Anyone um, But You? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it'll make more sense when they come out, hopefully. But oh, um, make perfect this sense. one is talking about um it's like the sentiment of like i don't love anyone but you Mm -hmm. and like i kind of don't want to um but like moving on through that of the first verse is i'm really proud of it it talks about like how there's a man who stands on a street corner as if Mm -hmm. it were his own and he like has nowhere else to go yeah and it flips and it's like am i better off than he is immobile in my mind like i'm Uh wide awake until the morning light because i don't love anyone but you so kind of like this push you'd like pull. really like get this whole like you're like visualizing stuff yeah. going on yeah. i like that that's yeah. great it's like yeah. uh 
I don't know. You've got it figured all out. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm moving in a different direction. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's been months and months of it's like, like working what is it through called? this new vibe. Is it, is it imagery, I guess? Yeah. Is imagery the right word? It's like you're like really trying to paint something in mm-hmm. each one, which is great. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Thank I look forward you. to hearing this thank guy. You, you got to get you. this guy recorded. I so know. I can, we're going to. So I can piece these together <laughs> now. There, yeah, I will. I'll be listening back. Like, For sure. That's what she meant. Yes. We're like, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I really look forward to hearing this. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have an expected date on this? Or it's not even recorded no, yet. So, so TBD. So, yes. And yeah. even though like our one year of our EP is approaching, mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep it in tandem of like trying to be aware of the time that mm-hmm. I have left in college, like with Lynn and Eliza, yeah. um, to try and make the most of that time, but also to treat these songs delicately and give them time yeah. to like be fully explored exactly. at the same time. Do you guys have any post-college plans? I assume you each have like, what, two years left? Three so, years or? About a year and a half for me. <sighs> it's Ooh, coming up close. It's crazy and it keeps getting shorter by the day. Dude, soak it up. This is I my know. last semester. And That's I've, wild. I feel like like I'm like I want to stay like yeah, you know what I mean. It's like why would I why was I rushing all these years? You know mm-hmm. what I mean. So yeah, uh, definitely ride that out. Mm-hmm. And um, have you guys talked about any after college aspirations for it? You guys gonna keep riding the wave? That's you gonna the move thing. somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, I think TBD? we have very different like career aspirations. Mm-hmm. Like Eliza is majoring in religion and communications. Okay. That's cool. And um, just the way her schedule works out, she's graduating yeah. in December. Interesting. So it's wow. earlier than I am, and I think I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that we probably won't live together uh-huh. in, or, like, in the same city at least after college. Gotcha. Um, like, life will probably look very different. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for it, also kind of terrified because I've only ever really lived life with her. Yeah, for your whole life. So yeah, so <laughs> that should be a that's change. kind of nerve-wracking, mm. but... Um, I don't know. I'm sure How we'll about, talk about it as the time comes. I'm sure you will. Yeah, it's just no yeah. rush. I was just curious. No, of course. Yeah. Um, What are the... I wanted to know about this because some of the mm-hmm. songs have drums, most of them, right? Yes. And uh, do you yeah. guys have any aspirations for getting drums in the live so, show? or? Yeah, we, um, we've um we only played one full band show to mm-hmm. date. Who it played was, drums? It was at the Foundry um, last February. And Rest in peace, the Foundry. I know. Where's, all these venues are going down, I know, man. It's, it makes it's, me it's so sad, sad as hell. <laughs> Um, the Foundry was a great place. It also, it was cool. yeah, it was a little harder to play though. I will admit because of the it's, setup and, and it's bigger. It's pretty big. Mm-hmm. Like it's bigger than it looks. So it feels emptier even if there's yes. a bunch of people there. It, yes, um, facts. Yeah. So we played the Foundry. Mm-hmm. Tony Hunlow played drums. That's his artist name. Oh man, I yeah. feel like I know this guy. Yeah, he lives um, with Tommy. That's what you might have seen him around, but he's like very have. talented. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So That's he awesome. Played drums. How'd you guys like that experience? What was that like? It was interesting, um, and Andrew played bass for us at that oh, show, wow. so it was the five of us. It was really, really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, God bless him. Tony, <laughs> <laughs> he, he will admit this too, but this little car was so fast. We were like, we got into it, uh-huh. and like, just about the way that we were all playing together, um, we joke about it to this day of like it was this old Lamborghini, like it was going so fast, well, so, so funny. Just we were it. playing it, and Tony was really into it, and we were just like, "Yeah, it was the fastest." And um, when we first started playing this whole car, it was like seven, eight minutes long, and so it was just like so. It was just is very it really? long. How long is it? It on used the to be. It's like four and a half. I was about minutes. to say, yeah, it's not mm-hmm. that long, is it? Andrew really helped us cut it down. We we're like, that is the fastest we'll ever play the song. Because <laughs> Tony, oh uh, my gosh, I can't imagine like being thrown into a song that yeah. changes time signatures yeah, and things yeah, yeah. but yeah that's yeah. awesome though so no aspirations who... on bringing in a drummer full-time or i have a no idea piece? just haven't thought about it right i yeah. think we have some friends who drum but it's like mm. it's kind of a per show thing yeah it's like it's, it's a we'll tricky see. thing too because you guys got going so well with the three piece you yeah. don't want to mess that up but it's you know good I mean? it's really important to also have drums for some more movement yeah. instead of it all sounding the same definitely i'm glad you guys have them on the record and everything you yeah know me mean? too like, for most yeah. of them, at least. I think, um, what's the acoustic one? Um, Red-handed. Red-handed, no mm-hmm. drums, right? No drums. No drums. I think that's cool, mm-hmm. too, though. Mm-hmm. You guys should do, release the songs with the drums and then acoustic version mm-hmm. of each one. Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah, you know why I mean? not? Why not? Sure. People listen, I guarantee yeah. they would. Mm-hmm. Do do instrumentals. Yeah. I, I think I'm almost on the instrumental way, like mm-hmm. putting out instrumentals. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It does clog up your Spotify catalog, That's I guess. Fair, but, but like, you know, whatever. Art is timeless. It I mean, was... I wish some of my artists would do it. Like, I would like go to study and I just mm-hmm. put on the instrumentals. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like it's an fair. instrumental playlist. Fair. 
I think that's very fair. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we're at an hour and a 10 minutes. This oh, is awesome. where I use. That's a good, yeah, good little easy money, right? Yeah, I think we're going to try to wrap it up. Of course. Do you have anything else you'd like to say to the people? I don't think so. You want to give them a little wave, a little thumbs up? This is for the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to be visible, but it is what it is. <laughs> like put it in the window. <laughs> yes. The light. That's the so only funny. light source. But yeah. anyways, I hope the video comes out good on this one. I had a great time talking yeah, to you. It was so much fun. Well. Next time, I want to see the whole band in here now. Yeah, for sure. Um, Eliza, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when? I hope mm-hmm. to see you guys in here. Yeah. I better see y'all now. I hope y'all are watching this. <laughs> All right. Well, this was episode 28 of the Jameson on the Rocks podcast. Today I had Perfect. Gracie Huffman from Lighthearted. Mm-hmm. And it was so much fun. I'm excited to get this one out to you guys. Uh, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, subscribe on YouTube, all that good stuff. Check out Lighthearted. What's you guys' Instagram name? Lighthearted Band. Love it. Any underscores or anything? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in the bio. But thank you guys for tuning in. This was so much fun. Yeah. We will see you all next time. Bye.